Mina san, Game g r a m a e Yokoso. Today's episode is from one of my favorite parts of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This dialogue is a bit more involved than what we see in Pokemon, and it's going to take a couple episodes to cover, so let's not waste time and begin. Midona. Pro tip, that's Midna's name, but in Japanese. It's basically the same, so we're off to a good start, everyone! Cuckoo! Omboetete kureta no? Cuckoo is a fiendish, impish laughter, and I, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I tried. Oboeru means to remember. Omboetete kureta. Looks like a typo with that double te, but it isn't. Tete kureru is short for te itte kureru. Kinda weird, but midna's kinda weird, so it works. Te kureru signifies that the action is a favor for the speaker. Kureta is past tense, and then she added no. It's a feminine ending for questions. Te kureru is a favor, so te itte kureru is to go do a favor. Kuku, oboete te kureta no? <laughs> you remembered me? Kono kata ga anata no sugashite itta. Next, we have Princess Zelda, referring to Wolf Link as Kata, which is a more formal way of saying Hito, person. She's a princess, she has to speak formally, and acknowledging the humanity of others is just so crass. Anata is also a formal you, unlike Kimi, Omaya, or Anta. This no we see here is possessive, and then she uses past tense teita, was doing verb. It seems impolite until you realize it's actually an incomplete sentence, which is also why you can be possessive of the verb in the first place. The verb is actually describing an unspoken noun, so she's being possessive of the noun, which is unspoken. She most likely wanted to say mono for the noun, which is another way of saying person, but it would be rude of me to put words in her mouth. She is a princess after all, and I'm but a lowly commoner. Kono kata ga anata no sugashite ita. This person is the one you've been searching for. Omo means to think or to feel, and omotte itta is the past progressive form, it's like was thinking. But in English, we mean the same thing with I thought or you thought, just a language difference. She drops the e in omotte itta, which is pretty normal unless you're being polite and formal, and even then, sometimes you drop it. The no here is replacing mono. Omotte itta no? The one I thought. We'll come back to that to in a second. Chotto means a little, chigau means to differ, and kedo is but, so chotto chigau kedo just means, but it's a bit different, or a bit different though. When you list things like e wa b to chigau, you're saying that a is different than b. This and that are different. Kore wa are to chigau. We don't have a wa here, but if you go back and find kono kata ga from Princess Zelda's speech, we get kono kata ga. See how it fits the pattern? Midna didn't have to specify Link as the subject herself because Zelda did it for her. Zelda's just so polite like that, and Midna's rude. So, Kono kata ga omotte tamono to chotto chigau could be translated to This one is a bit different than what I thought. Ma is kind of an onomatopoeia for well, or you might say, I think. It's like saying, eh? In the middle of your sentence. Sonna means such or like that, and mon is short for mono or thing. In Japanese, they'll use short words frequently to distinguish characters even without pictures or labels. We know Princess Zelda would never, ever, 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 ever shorten a word like that because it's rude, and Link can't talk because he's a dog right now. And also because Link never talks. So it must be Midna. Good job, gang! And finally, Kana is a way to end a sentence with a rhetorical question. You know, like, I wonder. Ready for my voice acting skills? Midona, kuku, oboete te kureta no? Kono kata ga anata no sugashite itta. Omotte ta no to chotto chigao kedo. Ma, sonna mon kana? Midna, <laughs> you remembered me? Is this the one for whom you were looking? He's a bit different from what I expected, but, well, 
It's kind of like that, I guess. I took the liberty of changing a couple things, like thought, to expected, because that's how we say it in English, honestly. Toraeru means to seize or to capture. See how she looks at Link's shackle? That's visual communication! Toraeru is the passive. He didn't take anyone prisoner, but rather, he was taken as a prisoner. Toraerareteita is just like omotteta. It was a continuous thing at some point in the past, but not anymore. We escaped, yo! As expected, Zelda's more graceful and pronounces the full word rather than dropping the E like the uncouth Midna would. A classic goofus and gallant situation here. Noldis indicates an explanatory statement, or a question depending on the sentence structure. She's basically saying, you were taken prisoner, weren't you? As you can see, Noldis or Ndes require simple form verbs. Otherwise, Princess Zelda would never dare utter such a simple, non-polite verb as toraerareteita. Gomenasai is an apology. Sometimes you apologize for things you aren't even responsible for, just because you don't really have anything else to say. Sometimes you're secretly responsible for it. Anata ga toraerareteita no desu ne. Gomenasai. You were taken prisoner, weren't you? I'm sorry. That's all for now. Part 2 should be done in just a few days. Make sure you see that video too by subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment about how much you love my voice acting, right here on YouTube, or on Facebook, or on Twitter. I'm a natural princess, don't you think? If you want to support us even more, check out patreon.com slash gamegrammar, where you help us buy things like processors and microphones, and maybe this Gumi plush toy. I mean, just look at it, I couldn't help myself! Until next time, mata ne! Pokemon trainer is... You guessed it, Pokemon trainer. Omae, Pokemon trainer daro? Hey you! You're a Pokemon trainer, right?